Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. In the previous episode, we took out a bunch of turrets. And now we're going to enter the control room. Dun dun dun. I thought there might have been a cutscene there, but there wasn't. Might be coming up right now though. Oh, and there we go, we got the Annihilator now. I don't remember what this does, but we will probably try that out on the Phoenix. I know there was something coming up. Look at how spooky this is. Oh man. Whoa! You are super scary, sir. Oh man, you hurt. Oh! You killed me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys didn't see anything. Nothing happened. I should probably have a better weapon out than the, um, the whip. Because we that's that's terrible to have the whip out for this battle. Huh. Look at him, he's like Patrick Star with those little tentacles. Well actually that's more like Squidward, I guess, but he's still kinda like Patrick. He's running at us, he's running. Oh he's running, he's running fast, but we're running faster backwards. Pew 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 pew. Oh, well, missed. I'm actually surprised that he's missing us all these times. I'm just getting very lucky. Okay, now he's up there, so we gotta aim for that turret thing that's apparently really bad at aiming at us. Uh, I recall that being a little bit better at aiming at us, but maybe that was a little bit later on in the fight. Um, either way, I think that that's something broken with the HD collection! Oh, I got him down just enough, just in time. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a few Tyranoids in there. I didn't notice that. Oh, frozen. Time's frozen. Completely frozen. Oh, look at that big butt. Now, now we get to see what he sees. Okay, Sasha. Sh I know, I know the lookout. Now there's all these Tyranoids up ahead. I wonder if I could... I think I've tried this in the past where I've changed into a Tyranoid to see if these guys would not attack me and just ran. I can't remember if it actually works or not. But, uh, this is interesting. They might ignore you and then this guy just continues to shoot at you, or they might not ignore you and uh, think that you're a bad guy. I don't remember what happened when I tried it. But... Hey. Hey, outside there, there's the, the guys just waiting there. He's like, oh, he's just getting attacked at the moment. I don't remember seeing that, but, like, in the PS2 game, but anyway. They're like, oh, he's getting attacked by a giant monster right now. It's okay, though. We'll be safe and sound. Okay, yes, that there's something definitely wrong with that gun in this collection. So on the PS2, that shot at you, and you had to, like, jump over it and stuff, which made things a little bit more challenging. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's the edge of the thing. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I think it's faster just to keep doing this. Alright. Oh, it's gonna shoot at us. There's the first time it shot at us, and he's almost dead. Alright, let's change to the boom boom. The big old boom boom. Ba doom boom boom. Boom ba doom boom boom ba doom boom. Boom ba doom boom. Boom. Boom! One more boom! There we go, and it upgraded our boom boom. Captain Quark, first you made another miraculous comeback. Now you've defeated the Tyranoids in a spectacular battle on their own planet. How do you explain your recent success? Courage, compassion, dashing good looks, iron hard abs! Seriously though, to be a true hero of heroes, you need more than loads of charisma and a brilliant tactical mind. I couldn't have done it without... These massive guns! Mwah! Mwah! Glad to see Taking all the credit for us. Ratchet. You must have quite a story to tell. I do have quite a story to tell. 
the fact that I did all the work and he did absolutely nothing. Now, I don't remember if we actually have to play through these missions or not. It might be like the presidential thing again, but we're going to do some. Why not? We might actually like have to do it in order to get unlock information because as of right now I don't know where we're supposed to go. We might just have to go back to the Phoenix, but who knows? Geronimo! Oh, hey, this is like, okay, so this right now is like the online thing. Do you notice the blue beam us and the red beam to the top right is the enemy? This is actually a multiplayer map. But any, so like maybe I don't have to show you guys the multiplayer stuff. But hey, at least you'll get to see kind of what you do in the multiplayer thing. There we go. Yeah, this I don't think is, I think this is just for bolts. I'll come back and do it if we have to do it, but I think this is just for bolts. If you notice, the uh, Tyranoids are starting to look slightly different now. This guy's got like a little tiger skin and stuff, and these guys shooting out stuff are now red. That's not just because they are on the enemy team now, they are actually slowly upgrading themselves and getting more powerful over time, so we gotta, gotta be careful about that. Now we gotta get this node. I know how to use the bolt crank node things. I know that. Oh no, what are we ever gonna do? Do, 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 do. These guys that used to be blue with the guns um, are now green. We do have to get out there and capture it. Now, oh, that's it. Oh my goodness, that's a big, big, big boom boom. Holy guacamole. Okay, we took it out while almost dying. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Oh man. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, we almost got to the hover ship. No, no, no. No, no. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna return to our ship. <laughs> Screw it. You don't really have to go after, like, do those mi mini missions like that. You kind of have to just capture the node, which was, like, the bolt crank thing that I did. And then you get, like, those ships as bonuses and stuff. But uh, maybe we will do an online. I don't know. I'm not sure. We might, we might not. It also depends if we can actually find someone else that's actually playing the game right now. Glad to see you made it through in one piece, Ratchet. Thanks. You must have quite a story. To you just told me that. I'm pretty sure you did at least. All right, we got our ammo while we are on the ship. Let's just get into our giant Hulk machine and drive on back to the Phoenix. Goodbye, guys. That was me saying bye to the guys in the game, not. Not to you guys. That'd be a very short episode otherwise. It was the biggest Tyranoid you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a Star Cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? <laughs> closer, even closer. Click, click. My blaster jam. <laughs> no way. What happened next? Yes, go on. We're all riveted. So, this is the mighty Q force I've heard so much about. Pathetic. I could obliterate a lot of you, and they wouldn't even mention it in Supervillain Weekly. True, sir, but you'd have done the fashion world an enormous service. And as for you, Agent Clank, I have far grander plans for you. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, you can turn it off now. Oh, may I, sir? What a treat. Al, come in! Yellow! Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. Let's see. 
backtracing the signal. Hmm. Six path alpha key encryption? Amateurs. I got it. It came from a facility on planet Dax. Accessing their computer files. Planet Dax? Aha! I found something suspicious. Hatching it through now. Tonight, we take a journey inside the enigmatic mind of our galaxy's foremost evil genius, Dr. Nefarious. We'll take a tour of this secret facility on planet Dax, home to some of the galaxy's most insidious superweapons, including the dreaded rainbow Afrolyzer. Dr. Nefarious, we've all enjoyed your past work, but how do you respond to critics who say your latest galactic schemes are just more of the same? I will annihilate them! Lawrence, tell us a bit about this top-secret superweapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, weapon may be a tad overdoing it. We do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Is Dr. Nefarious poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Stay tuned for more from Supervillain Weekly! Whatever Nefarious is doing on Dax, it can't be good. We'll check it out. You're welcome! Oh man, guys, I remember Planet Dax now. Didn't think about it as Daxter, but. So, you've come back to displace my training course once again, hmm? Actually, we were hoping we could just pick up the gadgets and split. We have a spaceship to catch. Ha! You slackers are always looking for the easy way out. When you can pass the course, you can have the device. Oh, you guys remember this? So this is kind of similar to the other game, but look at her. She still has the same fatness as she was in the first game. And this is the gadget I was talking about. It's the Hyper Shot. Oh, it's called the Hyper Shot. So if you guys remember the Dynamo from the previous game and the Swing Shot from the previous game and the first game, it's also the same. It's one and the same in this game, basically, which is what I've been waiting to say. And we got a hacker too. There we go. I didn't know we got that. Okay, how do we do this again? Okay, glad she's telling us. Aha! That's how we do it. I remember this thing now. So that one I kind of did have to listen to slightly. But the other, the other things, it's like yeah, they mix the dynamo with the. Uh, the swing shot and made it one gadget so it could just take up less space, which is pretty awesome. Whoops, I did not mean to destroy the green one there. Later on, this gets really fun when you can uh, just go do, 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 and shoot everything. The blue ones are indestructible, so we have to leave them until it disappears. Then we can come back. Do, do. There we go, we got enough. Now, later on, there's gonna be multiple levels of that, and it's gonna be very interesting because you gotta play through that. But hey, there we go. Okay, swing through, huh? And go like this. I think there is a skill point for finishing this under a certain amount of time, which is why she's yelling at us, and she's like, hurry up, do everything better than you are, but. Press square to collect the green I, you told me this lady. Press circle to destroy the red defense Silly program. goose. Whoops, I did not mean to do that again. Press oh my goodness, we all listen to her voice again. Press circle no, to destroy no, no. the red defense program. All right. The blue defenses are indestructible. Maybe I should turn off her voice. If she's going to tell me that every single time. Okay. Do... do. Get that one, get that, do, do, pick up those ones. Okay, there, here's a multi-leveled one. It's the same thing, just they get slightly tougher. Much like everything else in this game, it just gets tougher as the game goes on, but uh, other than that, it's not that bad. The green thing we can just fire basically everywhere. Oops, did not mean to do that. There we go. Perfect. I think that's the last one of the training course. And now we go across here. Swing it a swing. This isn't even swinging. This is more of just, there's a swinging one. There we go. 
that was okay, I guess. Thank you, lady. Don't even need the last one because we're that good. Oh, there's another one. This one's probably three. Press square to oh my the goodness. Press circle to destroy the Every time. Programs. Every single time. Every single time. It better only be for the training, otherwise you she's gonna just mm. Nope. I don't think turning off her voice uh, deactivates the other people's voices. I hope it doesn't, because their voices are nice and they are helpful sometimes, but if I uh, if I deactivate her voice and it deactivates other people's voices, that might not be helpful. Don't want that. This is also, I think, episode eight, I believe. Meaning that, oh, we can uh, pro we'll probably be taking a break after this episode, maybe. I'm still, I'm still feeling up to it, which is coming to the end of the episode. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. That lady's voice was kind of being annoying to me, so maybe I should take a break. But, uh, oh, for this also, by the way, if I let any of these red things actually touch the surface, like the top part, uh, I lose, and we don't want that to happen. You don't want them to touch the top. And look, a free titanium bolt. Perfect. Alrighty, we'll just take those gadgets and be on our way. Oh, yeah! The little man is cocky now. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to meet Helga on the wrestling mat, hmm? We'll see how cocky you are. Twist it up like a fat noodle. Uh, maybe next time. Fancies. Thank you. Planet Dax. Something we will be doing definitely in the next episode. We won't be doing it now because we are nearing the end of this episode. Do we have enough? We do indeed have enough for the armor. So we're going to get the armor upgrade. No, we don't have enough for the armor upgrade. Never mind. Ignore what I said. I thought it was 50,000. It's 60,000. So we'll leave it. But here, we'll try out that new gun. Oh, this. Oh, the hollow shield's also really good. Mmm. Okay, we're going to try it. We're going to test out this thing first because I don't remember what this does. Oh, this is the rocket launcher in the game. Okay. There you go. There's that. And then... This... We can't test out, but basically it throws out a shield in front of us and becomes like a wall, which is very helpful. We can shoot through it, I think, and the enemies cannot, so that's also very helpful. Let's see if there's any upgrades for our ship. We haven't done that either for a little bit. They were about to say something there, but they didn't. Oh, look, it's orange, kind of like our first orange, but uh, a little bit lighter. And the, ooh, this is very nice. We're going to get that. Very nice touch. I don't know if we actually do use this ship as a shooting ship in this game at all. We haven't used it yet, but I don't know if we actually do use it. Anyway, here we go. We got a new ship this episode too, which is very fancy. We do get these just occasionally as I get skill points and stuff. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, and I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode when we go to Planet Dax and we go and take on, well, whatever we find at that planet. I don't know what's going to be there, but I kind of do, because I do remember it slightly. Anyway, that's it for now, my friends, and I'll see you next time on Off Your Arsenal. Goodbye.